I'm Larry Anglesano reporting for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb. Angle of attack systems are common in jets, but not so much in smaller airplanes. The FAA is trying to improve the safety record of stall spin accidents by making angle of attack installations easier for Part 23 smaller airplanes. Safe Flight Instrument Corporation is in the process of certifying a new AOA speed control system. I'm going to fly that system in the company Barron, but before I do, here's Safe Flight's Brad Bertell to give us more information on the system. The small aircraft directorate has identified stall spin as the leading cause of fatalities in small general aviation aircraft. The technology that they have identified to prevent these accidents is angle of attack. Behind me is Safe Flight's test aircraft, a Cessna 172, equipped with the latest technologies in angle of attack. To understand how to measure angle of attack, we have to understand basic aerodynamics. Air flows over the wing and under the wing. There's a point where it's not flowing either over or under. That point is called the stagnation point. The speed is relatively zero. As the angle of attack increases on the aircraft, that stagnation point moves down the wing. That relative wind to the vane affects a moment either up or down depending upon the angle of attack. The lift transducer itself is very similar in form factor to the lift detector that many people are familiar with. You may have flown a piper and when you move this up, the stall warning sounds. That's simply a micro switch that is activated at the right angle of attack airflow. This transducer you see springs back to the center position and inside there, there are elements that will detect the motion of the vane and impart a voltage that a computer can register to determine what the actual angle of attack is. In the case of a 172, the desired location of the vane is 1% below the cord line as indicated in here from our test subject. Normalized angle of attack simplifies the task of identifying angle of attack by showing 100% of the available angle of attack as 1.0 that's the point at which the aircraft will stall. Point 0.6 of the available angle of attack, or 60% of the angle of attack, is going to be your approach speed, which we all know as 1.3 VSO. That will happen every time, every aircraft, regardless of weight, gust, or other factors. My favorite part of the angle of attack system is the angle of attack indexer. It allows the pilot to maintain visual contact with the landing environment, and also in his periphery, note if he's fast, on speed, or slow. We're configuring the Baron here for a landing configuration, and uh, Brad, why don't you tell us what we're seeing here out of the AOA? Well, what we've got is normalized angle of attack that's starting to slow down as the aircraft decelerates. With the gear down, we also have our indexer available as well. So if you notice, the, if I pitch up and down, we get a very little response out of the airspeed indicator, but we get a significant amount of response out of the angle of attack. Now based upon our weight, 85 should give us an on-speed condition, which we're starting to fade into it right around 84. And so this might be your typical maneuvering uh, for a landing. So we reduce a little bit of power, we'll get ourselves a sink rate going for an approach, a typical approach into an airport, and we might be turning our aircraft, and then you can see how we could go through the different phases or different amounts of lift as we bank and pull some uh, pitch. started into the slow indication, we were still doing 95 indicated, so this is a much more accurate way of determining what the aircraft is actually doing. Pitch up, pitch down, pitch up, pitch down, and a much faster response than you would get with the airspeed. So there's a, a Navajo about a mile ahead of us, and uh, this is allowing me to fly a very safe speed. I mean, if this feels slow, but we still know we have our 30% margin and it gives me a, a safe speed in this environment and I can look at the traffic and I can see this in the corner of my eye and I know I'm doing what I need to do. So as the airplane tries to maintain the glide slope you can see that the pitch changes are expressed here in the angle of attack as the airplane tries to struggle with the wind and the gusts and the change in, in, a, in the pitch environment. So if you look at the runway you see the touchdown zone marks and then we'll make that turn off over there. And so as I start to flare, we're starting to load the wing. And remember zero zero box shot, stay destination on the field. Thank you, sir. Zero 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 box shot, if you can make it. Uh, Charlie. And then Charlie Alpha to Gamma, the frequency. You have a good one. Charlie Alpha Gamma, one or two box, thank you. Okay, we made the first turn off. Yep.
You could read more about the Safe Flight AOA speed control system in the August 2013 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb, I'm Larry Anglosano. Thanks for watching.